In the past week, we have learned more about the Church of Bible Understanding and the two orphanages it runs in Haiti. One of them caught fire, killing 15 children. Our own investigation found that the church resides in multiple cities across the country, including in Scranton. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live tonight outside of Old Good Things with more on the story. Cody? Nick and Candace, good evening. According to the church's website, this antique warehouse is the church's main office. Members say they work at church businesses across the country to support their mission of helping others through Christ. Church of Bible Understanding is based in Scranton, owning several properties in the area. Its main office is at Old Good Things, which is one of the organization's antique warehouses and businesses in the country. Everybody would work together. We did um, restoration jobs, salvaging jobs, different things like that. Ashley Blevin spent one year with the church, her father on and off for more than 30 years. It's a Christian fellowship and money raised helps church members and people in Haiti. It takes care of everybody. It takes care of everything. It, it helps fund the orphanages. It helps with food. It helps take care of everybody all together. Eyewitness News got an exclusive look inside one of the church's orphanages. This one caught fire last week, killing 15 children. Inside, garbage is piled up in bathrooms bedrooms, and even hallways. Eyewitness News has researched the church claims more than $19 million in assets and spends some $600,000 a year funding the orphanages. No, there's no way they're pouring a half a million dollars a year into the expenses of these homes. Yvonne Trimble has been a resident missionary since 1978. In 2012, she says Haitian Social Services revoked the church's license to operate an orphanage which still stands today. There was rat infestations, there was no proper bedding, there was filth, the, the place was filthy. Trimble believes Church of Bible Understanding is a cult started by Stuart Trail, taking people's money with false pretenses for members and society. They are a cult and a cult operates with a dictatorship leader who oppresses the people that he brings in. Former church member Blevins agrees and disagrees with the idea of a cult. They fully believe and, and feel that their way is the best way of handling things to be closer towards God. And I could see why people would understand that. Ashley Blevins tells me if you're a church member and work at a church business, you essentially sign over your paycheck at the end of the week and the, in return, they will help you out. Now, she also says a lot of the antiques you see here are come from Haiti and are sold here in the United States for hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. In Scranton, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News.